Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see an introduction about uh, Azure AD B2C. Azure Active Directory B2C is a business to customer identity service. Your customer can use their social accounts, enterprise or other local account identities which support standard protocols like OIDC, OAuth and SAML. It has a capability of supporting millions of users and billions of authentications per day. The scaling is completely self-managed. With that, it has tons of features and we will see one by one in this B2C series. With that, let's get started with creating your first sign-in and sign-up flow and test it with B2C application. Right now, I'm into Azure portal with B2C tenant. And here you can see Azure AD B2C services. And I'm just going to click on it. Under this Azure AD B2C services, we are going to set up a user flow. Here you can find the user flow under policies plate. Just click on the user flow. And here I'm going to create a new user flow. Under this user flow, you will get uh, the list of type uh, types, which is provided here, which is sign in and sign, uh, sign up and sign in, profile editing, password reset, sign up, sign in and sign in using resource owner password credentials so here i'm go going to select sign up and sign in let's click on it and we have two version one one is a recommended and a standard one so i'm just going with the recommended version of sign up and sign in flow let's click on create and here you need to name the flow so whatever name uh with that it it's b2c underscore one underscore so here i'm going to name it as sign in underscore sign up underscore demo so the next step is identity providers here if you configure other identity providers like facebook uh, google and uh, other uh, other enterprise uh, identity providers it will list here but right now i i have not configured any other identity providers so it's going to list only the local accounts so here we have, uh, we have email sign up for the local accounts I'm just going with this option and the next step it's some multi-factor authentication configuration we have a list of types which is uh, email sms or phone call sms only phone call only and authenticator app for uh, mfa um and uh, it can be uh, we can turn off turn on and it can be also a conditional based so uh, here i'm just going with mfa off and uh, the next step is the conditional access i have not created any conditional access so i'm just going to turn it off and the next step is user attributes and token claims so user attributes here we have uh, two fields one is cult attribute and uh, Another one is return claim. The collect attribute is nothing but the attributes which you are willing to collect. Uh, I mean the information about the user during the sign up process. We have a, uh, we have uh, some default uh, attributes. On top of that, you can also create your own custom attributes, and uh, B two C will allow uh, to add a hundred custom attributes. So with that, here uh, it's it will list all the uh, default I mean uh, system defined and the custom attributes and if you click on show more it's going to display everything uh, here I'm just going with a given name surname email address which will be collected during the sign up process and the return claim is nothing but the information which is written through the token after the user is authenticated so here for the demo purpose I'm just going with the given name and surname as a return claim with that click on create to create a user flow so it may take probably 10 to 15 seconds to create a user flow so our user flow is created and the next step is app registration let's click on app registration new registration and here provide the uh, application name i'm just going to provided a uh, name as test user flow 
and then the next step is a supported account types so here you have accounts in the in this organization directory only and then next one is in any organization directory uh, which is for suitable for multi-tenant and then the accounts in any identity provider or organization directory for authentication uh, for authenticating user with user flow this option is uh, it's it's ideal for the b2c and here redirect uri i'm just going to select a web and for testing purpose i'm just going with uh, uh, our um, jwt dot ms so basically this uh, web portal which basically used to decode your uh, tokens and here the permission section so you can grant admin consent to open id and offline access permission these are the couple of scopes which is used by the graph api and you can grant admin consent during this uh, app registration itself so i'm just going to click on register So it may take uh, a couple of seconds to create an application. So now our application has been created. So you will get a client ID once the application is created and then object ID and the and then if you click on this redirect URI you can see what are the redirect URI you configured and uh, that will be uh, also there in this authentication section when you click on this authentication section you can see the list of redirect URIs which is you configured. You can add, uh, you can add more URIs as well, and the front channel logout URL. So all these features will be uh, will be handy when we are configuring a real time application with SSO. So we will be going to uh, see one by one in this B two C series, and uh, here we need to set the implicit grant uh, grant and hybrid flows up. So uh, here I'm just going with two options, the access token as well as the ID tokens. Um, once that is configured, click on save. So uh, application update is successful. So the next step is to test our user flow. Just go one step back and here you can uh, select user flows under under this policy split and this is our uh, new user flow which is created now click on that and you can see uh, it has a properties where you can uh, you can define all these properties for the user flow so i will be explaining all these uh, properties in detail one by one in my uh, upcoming videos so right now in this video we are targeting to create a user flow create our application and test the user flow so here you can click on this run user flow and um, you need to select the application which is created recently so that which is test user flow and the reply URL is uh, nothing but your redirect URI, just jwt.msr. And click on run user flow. It will redirect and uh, your sign in screen will pop up. Uh, I already registered. We're using my Gmail account, so I'm just going with my Gmail account to sign in. Uh, provided the password and I'm just clicking on sign in. So once authentication is successful, it's redirected to jw2.ms where the token is uh, decoded and um, you can see the decoded token and uh, it has the claim. These are the return claims, the given name and family name, which we configured during the uh, during the flow, uh, uh, flow creation, user flow creation. And uh, here if you click on these claims, you can see all the, uh, the claim information so which is um, the given name and family name so with this i hope you understood uh, how to create this user flow in azure ad b2c and test it using a b2c 
app registration so i hope you enjoyed this video and please um, post your uh, comments below and thank you for watching